Hello there, welcome to Mr. Tech Tuner and today we are going to discuss about our week 6 of operating systems and you becoming a power user and after this we will get your final certificate of completion. So in this week basically we will talk about the remote access of the introduction, remote connection, SSH and virtualization. Okay, so there is a question about remote access which is not very important I think. You can do this also. If you want, the first portion of Putty package allows you to far from file transfer using the use uh, SCP, Secure Copy Protocol. This is PSCP.exe. That's the answer. Okay. So we are going to our next quiz, which is basically on virtualization. Uh, okay, so there is another quiz. This is the discussion. So virtualization, and then we have logging. So in logging, we have four questions. We will go through them. The first question, if you're investigating login issues on a Windows computer, which portion of the event viewer logs would be a good place to start your investigation? That's the security portion. What are the log files that you can find information about boot up errors? There's a var slash log slash syslog and obviously var slash log slash current dot log. And then the third one. In what files, in what log files can you find information about authentication error? There's var slash log slash authen slash dot log. Okay. And the fourth one, well, for an SSH connection to work, which of the following need to be true? SSH is installed on the client and SSH server is running on the host you want to connect to. And you need to specify a host name uh, to SSH. Okay, so that's the logging issues. And now we are going to our operating system deployment. So there's basically all the videos, you can watch them. So the main gem of this week is the Quicklab, right? So first of all, we need to open the quick lab and so that's the issue that you can do every single thing for this you need to start the lab and as well as you will get to know about the remote access for this you need remote extra connection copy the external IP paste it connect and copy your student name paste copy your password also paste it and then enter yes obviously Okay, so now we are going to view our logs on Windows. Okay, so you need to know what task we have to do. There are five tasks basically. Okay, so we need to fix the low disk space, then corrupted files, then VLC, update VLC, then we need to end malicious process, and then we need to fix the permission. So there's a lot of tasks. First of all, uh, for fixing the low disk space, what we can do, we just went there. So there's a pop up menu of server manager, just cross it down. You don't need to look over this. Okay, so it will need some time to refresh. Okay, so I will tell you that you first go to Event Viewer app and you need to select the file. But I will show you some easier way to do this. So the easier way to do this is just go to the file. Okay, so file manager and don't need to go to the Event Viewer. Okay, so just go to the PC, then local disk and then be in search. In search options, you need to do something that's the size. Your size will be gigantic. Okay, so the, you will get your file easily. That file will be around 10 GB or 9 point something GB. So wait some moment, you will find. So now what we need to do, corrupted file. Okay, so where you will find your corrupted file? That's the question, right? Okay, so now you can see that we already found our large file. I mean, ultra mega large file. Okay, so all you need is to delete this file. That's our first task. So if we can delete this file, then we have enough disk space also yes obviously we will permanently delete this okay so the file is deleted then went back to the process uh, okay so our first task run step it will show you yes we are in 10 point okay so now we need to go for our second option okay so for second option we need to go to the pc then local disk and then users corrupted file yes you found it so that's the file you need to delete this Okay, so after deleting the corrupted file, just run the step. Okay, so again we got 10 points. Okay, so now what we can do, we need to update the VLC, right? You know how to update VLC. I know that very well. So just type here VLC, okay. And it will automatically move you to the website of VLC, video land. Okay, so it's already loaded. Went to the website. Uh, I mean, go to the website. Okay, so there's a question. What you should do, this is Windows 64 bit. No, we will not download 64. We will just download. Th
basic to do is just click on Windows then it will download the 32-bit file automatically Win32 and then we will install the Win32 only okay because this is a 32-bit system and the 34-bit will be updated okay so we will went our download folder and then you can see the 32 okay click on the 32 okay yes unleash next 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 okay so it will take some time updating and in the meantime we can check our progress run update okay so you can see already we got 10 by 10 point okay so we will going to do our next process to end the malicious process so for this you need to finish all the things no I don't want to run finish cross okay so just search for task manager okay open the task manager enlarge it more details now search here for the malicious process right Where is malicious process? Yes, I got it. Totally not malicious. End task. Okay, so this is done. Run step. Yes, we got 10 point. Now we need to fix the permission. Okay, so for fixing the permission again, enlarge it, cross it. Okay, so here the temporary file super secret file okay so go to the properties okay in properties security and edit okay so they're right okay we will enable the right permission and then apply the right permission is applied okay okay so i think this is done of our super secret file run step Yes, we got 10 by 10. Now it's 50 out of 50. And your weak lab of the first one is done. End the lab. Okay. Now basically this is done. Yeah, don't forget to give them the rating. Okay, so that, that one is done. 100% mark you obtained. Now we are going to, for our Linux one. Okay, so in Linux we have to do the same thing. But you know, in this case we need another third party software. Uh, which is basically known as Putin, right? Okay, so run as administrator as I have already uh, pre-installed it. If you don't install it, please don't forget to download it. Okay, so we need to cross our remote desktop connection. Yes, okay. Okay, so now you should download the PPK file also. And copy your username, paste at the rate and copy your IP address, paste it. And then go up into SSH, authentication, browse your recently downloaded PPK file and open and again open. Cross it. And obviously yes okay so our file is ready i mean our linux server is ready so our first is accessing we have already accessed the virtual machine now viewing log on linux just copy and paste it bar log yes they are already showed the bar log and now we need to copy our second sudo get bar log of syslog okay so we already pasted it so basically we are already the end of this command the last one sudo n and it's just uh, not just done yet but a few steps Yes, that's the thing. We already deleted our ultra large file. Okay, so basically we have done our first step. Now we need to recover the corrupted file. Okay, so for recovering the corrupted file, you need to write the command sudo and then rm recover file. Okay, so for recovering this and space slash home slash lab slash corrupted underscore file enter yes the file is down deleted removed check okay done uh, so i think you guys shouldn't be worried because i will give you the command in my description box you can also copy and paste it from there uh, for your better man now we need to update the vlc okay so for this sudo apt dash gd get install Okay, so it will already, yes, press Y for this. So it will automatically download uh, the, uh, I mean, update the VLC from internet. And then you need to wait some moment. I think I will keep silent and just listen to the music.
okay so <laughs> you guys are done okay so now we need to check whether it is downloaded or i mean updated or not for this dpkg as plc done it oh no comment found oh sorry i made a mistake dpkg dash s plc okay so the plc already they showed so you see there's 10 by 10 the score is already updated okay so we need to now end a malicious process for this we need to write the command psax enter then you will find a list uh and yes here the malicious not malicious and the format is 235 the pid okay so for this what we need to do you can do two things one is sudo kill 1235 that's the shortcut thing okay so you can run the step whether it is done or not yes that's the most shortcut right now we need to change the permission of the secret file okay so for this what you can do as you do sudo phomd command triple seven space slash home slash lab slash super underscore secre secret underscore file dot txt enter ah command not found what is oh yes i made a mistake you guys shouldn't make this sudo chmod right i i wrote the joint so there's a mistake triple seven space home slash lab slash super underscore as -E it is secret underscore file dot txt oh yes run this tape yes i earned 10 point and that's 6550 and this end is already finished already end the lab okay so that's all and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for your latest update about the course of courses and any type of technological update and till then thank you and don't forget to leave a comment